。Hello， 大家好，我是在泰国定居的肖恩，带你了解真正的泰国。今天呢，我们请到了一个英国的老人啊，我们今天和他来聊一聊关于在泰国养老以及孩子到泰国来留学的啊、呃、这些事情。这位老人呢，他是一位英国人，之前呢是雅思的评分官，呃，也当过我们家小雨的家教，现在呢，当然也是我们家牛牛的家教，呃，非常厉害的一个老人。我们国内很多的家长啊，其实对于孩子的教育，最终的目的很多都是希望能够送到一些发达国家去，啊，这个是他们的一个最终目的。那么，但是呢，今天我们来听一听啊，作为这么一个英国的老人，而且是呃有文化，然后有地位的那么一个老人，他。为什么会选择到泰国清迈来生活？呃，第二点呢，我们还想呃跟他仔细来聊一聊。那么，关于我们在清迈这些美制的学校和英制的学校，到底入学以后对孩子将来考大学会有一些怎么样的差别？好嘞，那我们一块儿去听他聊聊呗。Hello, I'm Teacher Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Uh, I want to ask you about what the certification you have. Right, I I have certifications in uh, TESOL, TEFL, TOEIC, um, IELTS, TOEFL, and Advanced Grammar. And I also want to know uh, how much you need for one month's leave. Okay, uh, well this depends on my lifestyle, but I I think. Probably about forty thousand baht. I would need in a month for food and everything else. Uh, do you have plan for go back to British? No, I, I I have no plans to go back to England. I I love Southeast Asia, Thailand, and China. I I've been to China twice. It's an amazing place, and I would like to go back. Uh. Would you change the place to live, or you will live in Chiang Mai forever?、Uh, I don't really want to live in Chiang Mai forever. I I get bored quite easily, and I like a challenge and something new.、Uh, so, do you think some、uh, in Chiang Mai there are some not good for you thing? No, I don't think so. Chiang Mai is very beautiful, but a little bit quiet. I, I like it a little bit exciting and a little bit more interesting.、Uh, and I want. I also want to know there are there are so many international stu-、uh, school in Chiang Mai.、Uh, they have British school, have American school.、Uh, is that we re-、uh, we start at British school is more easier to more easier than. Study at American school to get into the good university. There are not many British schools in Chiang Mai. I only know of about two international schools. Most schools are the international schools、uh, are American and prefer American teachers. There's many American teachers because they like to come here for a holiday for a short time. So and they are very popular as well. Regarding、uh, the curriculum for British schools and American schools,、uh, they have different curriculums, but they're just different. I would not say that one is any easier than the other.、Um, both demand a certain standard:、uh, the ability to speak, understand, and read English. So it's a matter of preference, really, and that's about all I can say. Thank you. 好，刚刚和史蒂芬老师也聊完了啊。关于第一个话题，他为什么选择在清迈？呃，因为他也觉得，哎呀，清迈这个地方比较无聊，然后他也比较喜欢追寻一些新鲜感，总想换一个城市。呃，但是呢，这句话呢，其实说实话，我已经听他说了四五年了。那时候小雨在做家教的时候，他就曾经跟我表达过这个意思。那为什么迟迟的待在清迈都不走呢？他在清迈已经待了二十年了，他现在六十多嘛，对吗？呃，二十年前也就四十来岁嘛，就我这个年龄的时候，他就已经在清迈了。那他的这个想法其实正好跟我也是。不谋而合，因为我在好几年前，其实我都已经想过，哎呀，我想寻求一个新鲜的地方，清迈这个地方我已经待腻了，我要去看看其他的国家。那当时也走了很多的国家，包括最远我都到了斐济啊，整个的我都去看了一圈儿，呃，就是那么奇怪，就是。
，总是有地方要比清迈好啊，这个这一点比清迈好，那个国家那一点比清迈好。但是综合分，我觉得总是清迈最高。那比如说你到了欧洲啊，你就算瑞士吧，啊，风景很好，对吗？但是它物价高啊，像到了那些国家，我买瓶水我都要想一想，哎呦，动不动就十欧，停个车过个夜三十欧，哎呀，这个。和清迈就没法比，在清迈我就完全没有压力，任何的饭店啊，任何的咖啡馆，我啥都不用管，我进去消费就行了，我一定买单买得起，就是这个感觉，给我感觉特别的放松。就像我之前一直在说的，清迈你不知道它哪儿好，但是你就是一离开就会想念。啊，那还有关于第二点啊，那斯蒂芬老师也说了，就他表达的意思就是，英制学校和美制学校其实大同小异，只不过大家的教制不同而已。所以有很多的家长啊，到清迈来，在选择国际学校的时候非常纠结。其实我告诉你们一点，你们不用纠结去什么学校。关于国际学校啊，其实并没有什么好或者不好，哪个教制好，哪个教制不好，其实是你的孩子行不行。行了，那今天的内容就先到这里。我是肖，我的频道主要是分享海外旅居生活点滴以及旅途中的干货。如果你还没有关注我，记得点击关注。我们下期见，拜拜。